She's a New York Times best-selling author, originally from Fiji and now living in New Zealand, brought up in New Zealand, in fact, recently returning to a side changeling world with a story of darkest passion and deepest betrayal. Please welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge and the cafe, Nalini Singh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We were just talking with Mike beforehand. You've got 35 books, we think, mm -hmm. 35 books that count. Yeah. You are a prolific author and such a big deal too, particularly in North America. They just love you, don't they? Um, that was where I was actually first published with the Side Changing series, and so yeah, it's it's great. It's, it you know has a fan base over there. It's it's wonderful. How cool that your books have reached all corners of the world, and you're able to you know sustain a living out of it. Doing probably all right with the amount of books you're selling, just quietly. Uh, but how did you get into it? Out of curiosity. Um, I've always loved reading. You know, I'm a big, big reader. From and then at some point, I was just like, I can't find the stories I want to read. So I just started writing them myself, and, and that's and, where it began. And were you, you know, were you going towards a career in that, or did I hear you were a lawyer? I was a, a lawyer. And... I was a lawyer. Like when I was growing up, I didn't know any other. Writers. I didn't know you could make a living as a writer. Particularly not in New Zealand. Yeah, it was just not something I thought you could do. So I thought I'd better have like an actual job so I'm not starving in a garret, you know. Um, and then and then I sold my first book and quit my day job, which you should never do. <laughs> How many did you write before they accepted one? Oh gosh, seven, ten, something wow. like that. I just kept going. And yeah. this was the, because that must be really difficult too, just to keep going when you yeah. keep getting that, the, yeah. um, sort of, the rejection. Nope, sorry, it's not quite right. Yeah. So what was it about this genre? Because you write a couple of different, but it's all mm -hmm. sort of in that paranormal, side, paranormal yeah, yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, alternate reality. You can break all kinds of rules when you, if you create a world, um, first of all, it's the whole creating a world thing. That's really, really fun. And then also you don't have to stick to the rules of our world. You know, there are new rules in this world, and um, it's just fantastic to play in that. And there's a common thread of romance through yes, most of the Yes, absolutely. I, I, I love um, exploring the human heart, you know, and all the different um, tones of it and all the different kinds of relationships you can mm. have. Um, so there's a lot of other stuff in the books, you know, there's mystery, there's politics, but that romantic thread ties them all together. And that is really what everybody wants to know about too. Everybody loves a bit of romance in there. Now I just have to talk to you quickly about the cover of this book because <laughs> this is the latest book which is out and we've already asked Nalini who is this guy on the cover. Uh, we don't know, he's just a, a random model. We will be discovering more about him but you have different covers in mm -hmm. each market. Uh, North America, you're also really big in Germany. Yeah, yeah, and they all have different covers. It's really um, interesting and and um, it, there's just something about certain types of covers that work in certain markets and don't in others. It's, it's fascinating really, isn't it? Because yeah. it, it just seems, especially in North America and here, you think we'd have the same cover. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, and yet we get the UK cover. Yeah. Yeah, we get this guy. Well, yeah. I'm pretty happy with <laughs> yeah. that cover, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook stalk later. Um, OK, so how do you get into the zone? What do, you, do you shut your eyes? Do you, do you imagine or are you walking somewhere and does things just pop into your head? Um, it's a little bit of all of that. Like... Uh, I could be thinking of something and, oh, yeah, got an idea, I must write it down, always have a notebook with me. Mm -hmm. But in terms of sitting down to write, I just sit down and go and, because I like travel as well, so I've kind of learned to write anywhere. You know, I've, I've drafted things sort of sitting in the, on and the floor of an airport. That's the perfect time to do it, isn't yeah, it, when it you're is, waiting for flights and absolutely. things. Absolutely. Um, and now this new book, you call it, it's like a season two because mm -hmm. it's part of a series, but it's also a sort of start Spin -off. Yeah, yeah. So you can definitely, you know, if, if you've never read any of my books, you can start with this one, no problem. So what's the story? Oh, what's the story? So there's a telepath in there who can't feel emotion because otherwise she would um, go insane or, you know, um, something terrible would happen. And then you've got a shape-shifting bear and he's very warm, you know, very emotional. And Perhaps this yeah, and he's got a huge crush on her. So, like, it starts off with a hero who's got a really big crush on her and she's just not having any of it. So. Oh, fascinating, <laughs> absolutely fascinating. And, you know, millions of books sold around the world. So if you've never picked one of her books up, you should. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, lady. And not only working on this one out, there's another couple out this year as well because Nanini likes to keep busy. <laughs> uh, Silver Silence is out right now in all good bookstores. <laughs>